gonna start my drawing from front view. And make sure to work on parallel rejection. Start with line, so type L for line command. Enter, click anywhere on the screen. Bring your cursor upward for 46 millimeters. So you write for 90 millimeters. Downward for 46 and type C to close. I'm gonna draw a line from midpoint downward for 15 units. This is just a guide. And half of 34 is 17. So L for line in point to the right for 17 units. Copy this one in point to in point. I'm just gonna delete that. I'm gonna draw a line from this point to this point. So what I'm going to do is subtract, so I'm going to use calculator. So 90 minus 58 divided by 2 would be the distance from this point to this point. Divided by 2 equals 16. So the line from this point to this point is 16. So L for line, in point to your right for 16 units. Same here. In point to your left for 16 units. And just hit that in point. Repeat line, in point to in point. I don't need that. And uh, C for circle. Click the midpoint, type D for diameter option, and enter 72 units for diameter. Type TR for trim command, enter twice. Just click that and this one. I'm going to join the segments. So type J for join command, enter, and just window the whole thing. Now this is uh, one object. I'm going to draw another circle, look at center, and just click that uh, in point. So this one has a diameter of 72, another circle, so type C for circle, look at center, type D for diameter option, and enter 66. I'm going to draw a line. From this quadrant to this quadrant and offset this line for four units downward see the distance from this point to this point is four so type TR for trim command enter twice move that move this one and move this one you move this um, line that's sticking out All right, trim again, trim that. I'm gonna hide this one first. So select the object, hover over isolate and select hide object. I'm just gonna trim this one. It's hard to trim when there's another line overlapping or another circle. So TR for trim command, enter twice, click that, and remove this one. Now join the segments, so type J for join command, and just uh, select the whole thing. Now this is one object. Now I can, I can bring back my hidden object, so right click anywhere, hover over isolate, and click, uh, and select an object isolation. Just gonna turn off my grid, go down to the status bar and turn that off 
all right so the thickness for this one this one here is which is also this one here from this point to this point is 18 so I'm gonna extrude this one on both sides for half of 18 which is 9 I'm just gonna use I'm gonna use extrude first on that side for 9 units and uh, for the other side I'm gonna use press pull command inside the modeling panel and just hover over this uh, face left click let go bring it in for 9 units now for this saddle the thickness for that is 38 so I'm gonna extrude this one halfway to the direction for 19 units which is half of 38 and use press pull command inside the modeling panel hover over this face left click let go of your finger and enter pull it in for 19 units now I'm gonna change the direction of my Z axis vector so inside the coordinates panel select Z axis vector click near on the screen and bring it upward I want to create this um, this one here like a cylinder and it should be parallel to the direction of the z-axis vector all right so c for circle and the uh, radius for that is 9 and 4.5 okay circle midpoint here and the radius is 9 so enter 9 and i'm gonna chop this portion here to make this uh, curve so what I'm gonna do is use press pull command hover over this area here see it turns blue left click let go and bring it down quickly and click this one too bring it down quickly and click all right now I'm gonna draw another circle from midpoint type D for diameter option and enter 4.5 let me check again no it should be the radius which is 4.5 so I'm gonna change this one I double click the circle and it will bring the properties see double click and this is the you can change the dimensions from here anyway uh, I'm gonna extrude this one downward and you subtract command from the solid editing panel click the objects you want to keep and this one here right click and, and select the object you want to subtract same process here so circle look at center or midpoint a center of the circle enter 9 for radius I'm just gonna change this to shaded with edges it's easier to see all right press pull command inside the modeling panel hover over this area once it turns blue left click and bring it downward let go of your finger bring it downward and left click again hover over once it turns blue left click let go of your finger bring your mouse downward and left click again I'm gonna draw another circle midpoint a center enter 4.5 for radius extrude this one downward all the way now inside the solid editing panel select subtract command click the object you want to keep right click and select the object that you you don't want which is the cylinder all right now we have to apply chamfer and this is the dimension so go to solid select inside the solid editing funnel you can click this arrow in case the fillet edge is the one showing here and select chamfer edge and go down to the command prompt click distance and the first distance is 3 
inter and the second distance is 2.5 and um, click this edge enter and enter again and apply chamfer here first distance enter and enter 2.5 and click this edge here and enter twice I'm just gonna move this one delete those I'm gonna maximize and change this to realistic I'm gonna apply materials I'm gonna use maybe golden satin golden rod and just drag this one here Got to visualize create lights or click lights this step down arrow and adjust exposure Now apply fillet and the radius for that is 2 so go to solid select fillet edge go down to command prompt click radius and enter 2 and click this edge and this one here enter twice I think we're done thanks for watching please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and bell icon to get notified and see you again